Hey guys, in this video I'm gonna do my review of the Believe Flavored Isolate. So I'm holding here the chocolate fudge flavor, but this also comes in a caramel sundae, a vanilla flavor, banana bread, and it also comes in an unflavored. What I like best about Believe is that they are third party tested, so it doesn't have any banned substances in it. And you can check on each of their tubs with this QR code here to see the analysis from a third party company showing that there is nothing but what it says in it. This sets them apart from other brands that don't have that level of transparency and it's really nice. This is a Montreal brand in Canada and I believe they make really great products. So this is their flavored isolate here. It's got per scoop 111 calories, 0.2 grams of fat, 0.1 grams of carbs, and 27 grams of protein. So for an isolate, that's actually really great. It's got low, low carbs and fats, very high protein. So what, you, what you're paying for is just straight protein. The flavor of this, it's a little bit bitter, but it's not bad. Like I've had all their flavors. I like the caramel sundae. It is a little bit bitter. doesn't really taste like a caramel sundae fully, but it was, it was good enough and I liked it. The chocolate fudge brownie is very soft chocolate flavor. I usually two scoop my protein powder and it was still, I found not too strong of flavor. So if you don't like overpowering flavors, this protein's gonna be good for you. You're getting 25 servings per tub and it can run you around $45 for one tub. Pretty good price for a flavored isolate. So flavor of this, I would give about a 7.5 out of 10. The ingredients in this, solid nine out of 10. It's got very low carbs and fats, very high protein. And overall, I give this protein 8.5 out of 10. It is unique, decent flavoring. It is third party tested. It's got a decent flavor to it. I believe does really great things with their products. My favorite flavor being their caramel sundae, but the chocolate fudge is also really good. I believe also lists out the average amino acid profile per scoop. There is 2.75 grams of L-leucine in it per scoop and it's also highly dosed in the other BCAAs. So it's a quality protein, no amino spiking. I believe does a great job with their products. I'm a fan of this protein. I don't go for it quite as often as other brands, but it's still not too bad. I had a few bags during the COVID-19 lockdown and it got me through. So overall, it's not too bad. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button below to see some more content similar to this. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.